Good afternoon, uh, Mr. John Eve Monfort, Chairman of Study Group 12. Could you please give us a short introduction to the work of your group? Study Group 12 is uh, uh, titled uh, Performance and Quality Service, uh, said also QS, and has a leading role on QS, especially in conjunction with uh, the QS activities on NGN and in relationship with other study groups of uh, ITOT and also of groups outside uh, ITOT. The activity is divided in uh, three working parties. The first one uh, deals with telephonometry, terminals and subjective assessments. The second on performance, planning and tools. It means that we are developing some uh, models on quality voice quality mainly, but uh, the scope is uh, wider now. And the third, the uh, working parties, uh, works on uh, IP-related uh, QS and resource management. And in this uh, group, we have uh, new questions coming from uh, other groups. Uh, it was a decision from the last WTSA. Okay. Could you please then highlight some of the key achievements of Study Group 12? Yes, uh, first of all, as lead study group, we have uh, produced uh, a new recommendation, the G1000, uh, that is used on the flyer on QS we have developed also mm -hmm. for the communication and giving the four points of view of the QS. One of the main topics on which we are working is, as I said previously, the models. Three types of models, especially for voice. Opinion model, the well-known e-model G107. It's possible to use it uh, freely from the Study Group 12 web page, where it's available. We are working also on psychoacoustical uh, models, like P862, that is very used in the, the industry. Uh, it, and also P563, yeah. and also the third type for in a NMD, it means in services and uh, non intrusive measurement devices. We have also, and it's a way to, to assess these models, subjective methodologies that are developed. And also, uh, several recommendations are based on uh, inter laboratory tests, as we did for the headsets. We have developed also new kinds of uh, recommendations like for multimedia QS, G1010, which is used by uh, several uh, other standards. And we are still working on uh, planification uh, parameters and we have uh, some well-known uh, recommendations like G114 for the delay, uh, G1020 for the parameters related to uh, IPQS. Okay, excellent. Uh, in uh, study group 12 will be? Yes, uh, first of all we have organized uh, two workshops on uh, ICT in vehicles and we have uh, two questions that are linked to this uh, topic for terminals on one way and also for speech services on the other way. As I said previously, we will continue to work on quality modeling, but we will expand the field. First of all, we will uh, develop models uh, which apply for wideband speech and also for multimedia in conjunction with the activities of study group uh, 9. And also on services as an example to qualify uh, the web browsing. Of course, we will continue to work on end-to-end -end QS, and the keywords could be QS interworking and performance and portionment. And for this, it's uh, to take into account the convergence on, uh, between different kind of networks and access uh, networks. Also, we. As a lead study group, we will uh, continue to work in conjunction with uh, NGN, which is an important topic. And for this, we have identified five uh, topics on which ITUT in general will work uh, on user QS requirements, network performance requirements, session QS requirements, QS signaling, very important, yeah. and transport. And so, of course, we will not do all the job, but we will coordinate it. 
and also we are developing a uh, handbook guide also some models available on the website and it's a way to help to uh, fill the, the gap uh, in the standardization uh, for uh, developing countries. And finally, we will organize a second workshop on QS in June 2006. Okay. Thanks very much for your time today, Mr. Montfort. Thank you very much. Thank you.